corporations, the most evil word in the English language, second most evil being cockroaches, obviously. When it comes to corporations, how many are as big as Target? Not many. You know, that little fucking mom and pop joint down the street that sells used toys and condoms? Not nearly as big as Target. So what better place to go to rally the people than Target? Going right into the heart of big business and try and make a dent in it so the man can hear you say loud and clear enough is enough. What you're about to see is a family of warriors bravely march through a Target spouting some hateful bullshit. There's nothing you can do about cockroaches. Cockroaches are infesting the world. They're pretty much impervious to all weapons, as is. We're trying to harvest them for nutrients and super milk, but I guarantee in the end we'll end up being the ones hostages and milked by the cockroaches. But there is something you do about corporations. You can fight them. You can, you know, march through Target with a Bible in one hand and a dick full of dreams in the other. And that's exactly what this family does. Check this out. Nothing makes me believe in a cause quite like a large woman walking around being a public nuisance shouting while wearing a giant tablecloth around her like a fucking toga. This is not love, and they've proven it by opening their bathrooms to perverted men! I've gotta cut her off here. You gotta love how she drags her entire fucking family into this public shaming. These kids will never live this down. If their classmates saw this, they'd be laughing stocks, and the mom would have a legacy across the school as a goddamn psychopath to run away from because she'd steal your juice box and preach to you about why God frowns on it. So that's, I don't like that. If you're gonna be a nutcase, don't drag your family into it. And you can see the son up in front kind of cover his face because he's embarrassed. Obviously, he would be. Now, I have to say, her big complaint here is Target allowing perverted men into their bathrooms. What the fuck do you expect them to do? Have like a bouncer or a TSA the lineup there making sure everyone that goes in isn't a pervert? They like show them porn, they skeletal scan them, and if they get hard during the porn, they get kicked out, exiled from Target, and blacklisted from all Targets across the nation? Like, what the fuck do you expect them to do? No bathrooms have high-tech security. No one's getting retinal scanned before using the, the shitter to make sure that they're not a pervert. That's a fucking weird complaint to have. I'm a mother of 12, and I'm very disgusted by this wicked practice! It really is always the worst people having the most amount of kids. What a fucking shame. That's just so sad. Target does not protect mothers and children! Mothers, get your children out of this store! Mothers have enough decency to get out of this store. It's a dangerous place. Which is why I brought my children here. She's talking about Target like it's a goddamn active war zone, like they've just entered into a field of anthrax or something. It's just baffling how someone can be so delusional like this. I don't know what happened in the bathrooms that's caused this traumatic experience for her. Maybe she was cheating on her husband there, the husband found out, so now she really has to double down on the lie that it was Target's fault. I just, I don't know. I can't even wrap my head around how she can even justify this type of lunacy, how anyone could. This is not loving. What Target has done is very hateful. It's hateful towards families. It's hateful towards mothers. It's hateful towards children. America, when are you gonna wake up? Every Target I've been into, and trust me, I've been in a lot, that's where I do a lot of my shopping, they all have, like, background music, but this one's dead silent. I could hear a bumblebee piss into a corner. I don't know if they just got lucky or if they deployed an EMP device before going on this fucking crusade. Because there's just no background noise, so all of these poor customers here are just getting this full experience in full IMAX surround sound. There's no one even talking in the background. It is pure silence like a sensory deprivation tank. When are you going to stand up for the right things, America? Are you going to let the devil rape your children, America? It's time to stand up and have a voice. Instead of bowing to the homosexual perverted agenda, that's taking they over this no, nation! No, they don't. Yeah, so this won't come as a surprise. It's a family of crazy religious homophobes. In particular, the husband. It gets extremely upset and starts yelling at people in the store just at the idea that Target welcomes homosexual people in its doors. So that means he's most likely a closeted gay man himself. I bet when the family was leaving, he waved them goodbye, gave his wife a kiss, and then the second they pulled out of the parking lot, he sprinted into the Target bathroom to suck a penis real quick. And I really hope this homophobic shit that they're pulling here didn't rub off on their kids. Like I said, it doesn't seem like they wanted to be there at all. 
So here's hoping they didn't end up being homophobic losers like their parents. Uh, I guess we'd know by now. It's kind of an old video, so these kids probably would have led their own crusade through Target. And I, I haven't seen any video of that, so there's still hope that they didn't follow in their families to fucking awful footsteps. You need to run and flee this place! I wouldn't sit, spend a penny of my money here! This is wicked! This is confusion! This is twisted! She's treating it like it's a fucking bomb threat that got called into Target. Everyone needs to get the fuck out of here quick. The longer you stay, the more likely you are to become homosexual. As if homosexuality was contagious and Target's the one spreading it. This is okay. abominable in the sight of God! Please, 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 please. That line is one of the best lines I've ever heard ever delivered out in the wild off script. In fact, you probably couldn't even script something like this. The judgment of God is coming on this nation and Target. That's fucking profound. Paul Blart here doesn't even look like he knows how to spell judgment and yet he just delivered something Shakespearean without even trying. As per usual, the goddamn Arkham Asylum dwelling family here is the one that uploaded the video. I can never understand why people think it's a good idea to upload something like this when they are clearly the worst players in the video doing the stupidest shit, the dumbest shit, and they think that it's a good idea to post it on their anti-vax Facebook page. But here you go, just another example of it. There's also no doubt in my mind this entire group of people got into their giant van at the end of this stunt here, or maybe even right outside of the target, started high-fiving each other. Yeah, good work out there, guys. Yeah, excellent shit. The Lord's definitely smiling upon us now. We just took down Target. Target has been defeated. And if it's in Alabama, then the dad started kissing his kids and making out with his sister. It's just, I'll never understand this mentality. It's just so fucking stupid. It's unbelievably stupid. I, I really will never be able to wrap my head around like a family like this and shit. It's just nuts. Absolutely nuts. Hateful, garbage, bigotry, bullshit. Going through a target in the middle of nowhere doing fuck all but being a public nuisance and being a horrible example for your children. What a waste. That's it. See ya.